Let me tell you something. You know, when you do rituals right, it'll get you out of jail. <clears throat> Just ask um, YNV Melly or YNW Melly, whatever the name is. He's supposed to be getting out of jail. You know what I'm saying? Just a lot of people don't know who that is. But um, when you do the rituals right, sometimes it gets you out of jail. Well, not sometimes, all the time. It gets you out of jail. Just XTI. You know what I'm saying? See, when you do the rituals right, it gets you out of jail. It also gets you out of trouble. Gets you out of sexual assault accusations. Just ask Louis C.K. You know what I'm saying? Just ask a lot of other celebrities that was caught up in scandals. And then they went to Africa. And they did these certain rituals. And next thing you know, you know what I'm saying? Things start, evidence start getting missing. You know what I'm saying? The witnesses start reneging on, you know what I'm saying, what they first said in the first place. Now they've got a different story. Now the the accusers turns out to be liars. That's what happens when you do rituals. And to get endorsed by the wicked witch herself. Let me tell you something. Anybody in Hollywood, if they get endorsed by the wicked witch, Oprah herself, that's good as gold. That's a red, you know what I'm saying? To have Oprah endorse you on, have that on your resume, to have an Oprah endorsement, that's like a get out of jail free card. To have Oprah say, first, Oprah was all for doing this documentary against Russell Simmons. Everybody knows it, right? Everybody knows. Everybody was, you know what I'm saying, for Oprah doing this documentary. Yes, expose Russell Simmons. Russell Simmons sexually assaulted these girls. Russ, expose. So, you know, and as you know, you know what I'm saying, Oprah, she is a big Satan. You know, I, I didn't like Oprah ever since, you know what I'm saying, I heard this um, video, this show that she did. I don't know if they scrubbed the internet. They probably took that show off the internet. But she had a show that she did. And on that show, she was arguing with somebody about God. And Oprah, out of her own mouth, said, Oh, God can be anybody. God can be, you know what I'm saying, the light. The, you know what I'm saying? God can be the furniture. God can be this car. She don't believe in the Most High God. And she's black. And she's a Hebrew from the tribe of Judah. And she don't believe in the Most High God. Why? She believe in Ceramicus. The so-called goddess of heaven. The same goddess that all these celebrities and the high-level masonaries worship. Cerebrosis. The same god that they worship. Who got America worshiping Easter. That's paying homage to Cerebrosis. The same god that got America worshiping Christmas. That's Nimrod. Ceramicus' husband and son. Hmm. And he got the world worshiping that. That's just the same God that Oprah worships. All about woman power. But to get an endorsement, to say that this, this case against Russell Simmons is false. That's what she said. Basically, that's what she said. Because she was all for doing a documentary. She did the documentary. Completed the documentary. Now she's pulling out of the documentary. And she's pulling out of the documentary. And she says. Because. The stories. That the accusers. Are speaking. Don't add up. She's saying that the case, the evidence, is flaky. Well, Oprah, 
I'm not the sharpest knife in the drawer, Oprah. But did you not think before you jumped on the case? Did you not think before you, you know what I'm saying, put your name behind a documentary that is against Russell Simmons? Did you not think about that? Well, why all of a sudden you pulling out now? Huh? Well, let me tell you why Oprah's pulling out. It's not because, you know what I'm saying, the accusations against Russell Simmons is flaky. It's not because the evidence against Russell Simmons and the women, you know what I'm saying, is flaky. It's not because of that. See, Russell Simmons is an asset unto the kingdom of darkness. Oprah is an asset unto the kingdom of darkness. Every high-level warlock, every high-level witch in Hollywood, they are assets to the kingdom of darkness. They done brought more souls into the kingdom of darkness than any other person that ever passed his soul to the fire of Moloch. So they don't want to lose Russell Simmons. They don't want to kill Russell Simmons. You know what I'm saying? They rather have Russell Simmons working than he than him doing what he's doing. What I mean by working, working is gathering souls. Russell Simmons was the biggest the biggest contributor to that vegan diet that stuff, right? He was the biggest contributor to that vegan diet stuff. So he's been getting souls ever since, you know what I'm saying, the early 80s. They don't want to lose Russ. They don't want to lose Russ. Russ, all Russell had to do was do what he did. He did the rituals. That's why all this is starting to, you know what I'm saying, the documentary is out there already. The documentary is out there already. It's made. It's out there. It's just that Oprah don't have her seal of approval on it no more. So without Oprah's seal of approval on it, it's no authentic, authentic, authenticity to it. It's just going on the words of the victims, which Oprah said that their evidence don't match up. Their stories don't match up. Oprah put a seal on the victims saying the victims' stories don't match up. Oprah put her seal on the saying the evidence is flaky. So that makes people question Russell Simmons' victims, which will stand up in court, which eventually will get Russell Simmons off. Anything that helped Russell Simmons, as long as he did the rituals right, and he did the rituals right because he got Oprah to sign approval. That's the biggest. That's the that's the the biggest. You know what I'm saying? Thing you can get. Anyway, this is news. You know what I'm saying? And another thing, people are gonna watch this documentary less and less now that Oprah is not with this no more. They're going to watch it less and less. It's going to get less and less attention. Because Oprah put us, Oprah backed off. But anyway, this is news. I want to thank you all for tuning in, logging on to another episode of Illuminati News Hour right here on Gospel Talk Radio. I am your host. I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith. If you are new to this channel, please tap that subscribe button. Hit that like button if you like this show. Hit that hate button if you hate this show. Hit that comment button, leave a question or a comment on this show. Also, if you want to donate to this ministry, you're welcome to do that by simply clicking on the donation link somewhere on this page. Don't forget, go to Facebook, type in 90.1 AM Radio Live. That's 90.1 AM Radio Live. 
make sure you hit that follow button while you're over there. That's my uh, Facebook fan page. I go live over there every evening with some knowledge for you. Till next time, stay tuned. God bless you.